Today we are headed up to do some lake camping. So we're heading out to uh, Lake Jucassee, which is down in South Carolina. It's about three and a half hours away from where I'm at right now. So we got a little bit of a drive ahead of us. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. The spot that we chose is right on a peninsula, kind of in the middle of the lake. And it's a waterfront campsite. So hopefully no one's there, but you know, if someone is, we'll just have to figure it out. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a good one. We got uh, Miss Yeti, my co-pilot in the back seat. We're also meeting up with my buddy Alex, who went camping with us uh, down at the Linville Gorge. So it's gonna be fun. We're uh, super stoked for this trip. We kind of just randomly discussed it a couple weeks ago and we're like, all right, let's do it. Let's pull the trigger on it. So we uh, put it together and uh, we're gonna do it. So um, yeah, let's uh, kick it off. It's gonna be fun. We'll see you out there. Peace. Also, I forgot to mention that right before I left, I was taking pictures of the truck with all the gear loaded down and I got freaking attacked by a swarm of yellow jackets. And there's a couple on my back too. And there's one on my back that I can still feel this. So very unpleasant. I'm, I, and I, I've tried getting it out, but I can't, I don't have the right angle. So I was at a gas station trying to like pull it out. And I was going to ask like this person next to me if they could do it for me. Cause I have tweezers, but I chickened out and didn't do it. Yeah. It's going to be a unpleasant three and a half hours to say the least. But, um, yeah, the weekend's off to a great start already. So Yeti decided to jump up from the back and somehow got herself behind the seatbelt. Um, I usually leave it buckled because when she does climb up here, it uh, dings when her weight's on it. So I just leave it just in case she does come up and she came up and snuck in behind it. So safety first, huh? We got a co-pilot now. I just pulled up to a gas station where I'm gonna meet up with Alex. I'm gonna see if you can get this stinger out of my back. It actually hasn't really been affecting me too much, but I still just wanna get it out. So I'm just gonna wait on him for a little bit. Here he is, the man. Dude, I have a weird request. I got stung by like four yellow jackets before I left. And I think there's a stinger still on my back. Bro, Could I got stung by a wasp yesterday. No way. Huge. Dude, I haven't gotten stung by a bee in like so long. Do you need some stuff? No, I just need to make sure I can get the stinger out. Yeah. I think I can feel one on my back. I want you to check it out. You see, you've been driving with a stinger in your back? Yeah. Like on this side? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got you. There's another spot too. Oh, you have a sting, but. Got a minute. Dude, it was through my shirt too. Like yeah. my arm. Do you want a little this thing? Was, this was fat. It was like all red. And then right here is the worst one. Bro, I need it. Good. Dude, your arm is like a freaking baseball bat. I think we got it out. It's so funny. He got stung by a wasp yesterday too, and his arm is like a baseball bat. It's so fat. What are the odds? Uh, it's summer, man. <laughs> That's true. Dude, I was just standing there, like, taking pictures of the truck, like, not doing anything. And next thing I know, I just feel like this, like, just shooting pain on my pec. And I was like, what the heck? And I could see it looking down, and then there was two on my back. So I just ripped my shirt off. But, yeah, like I said, good start to the trip. Ready? Catch. On the road again. Damp it down. made it to our road access point and it turns out the gates are locked. We gotta find a new way to get in or a new place to camp. All right, so unfortunately this spot is not gonna work out. It's closed until September 15th. So we're about a, 
a month too early. Um, but Alex knows of a spot up in Mills River, so it's about 40 minutes away. Um, unfortunately, it's not on the lake and there's no water nearby, but hopefully I can find a river um, and drop my fly rod in and see what we can do. But um, yeah, just gotta, gotta kinda roll with it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Right as soon as we pass the first one, we got another one. So good. So we think we got a spot. Alex stayed back and uh, is uh, kind of holding down the fort right now. I decided to keep going up another couple of miles, about right at two miles up the road, uh, just to see if I could find anything else. But it doesn't look like we're gonna have any more luck. So I'm gonna head back to that spot that he's at right now. At least he's got that one secured. Um, not like crazy idea, but it still looks pretty cool. And it's pretty close to a river, I think. So it might be easy access to go fishing tomorrow. Um, I did see one spot down here that's pretty narrow but it's pretty cool because it's kind of tucked back in there and like you wouldn't even be seen honestly but uh, I'll show it to you if I see it on the way back um, but yeah I'm just gonna head back to him right now and uh, start getting unpacked we gotta start cooking food here pretty soon but first things first is we gotta set everything up so um, we got a little bit of a process ahead of us all right this is the spot that I was just talking about it'd be a little narrow getting in there but it'd be pretty sweet if we could so it's good to know that it's here, but I don't think we're going to be doing it. Here we are. Bling, bling, bow. All right, this is what we're rocking with. We decided to go to the first spot that we found when we were coming out here. So it's a pretty sweet spot. We got Alex in, right side by side. We'll get the awning over by the fire pit. Tent will pop up that way. So I'll be getting on this side. Yeah. It's just home base. It's okay. Do you approve of this spot? It's all right. It's mutt man. Oh yeah, baby. Over engineered. It doesn't have to be like that. You know these guys that poke out? Oh, look at that. It went through the fletching. We have one log. <laughs> I would, um, I would say that's a success. Even have one log. <laughs> we just spend all night doing this. <laughs> Dude, this is some strong wood. <laughs> some good wood. <laughs>
tortillas and then a little bit of rice, a few little bit of beans, and then just kind of go from there. I never really have, I was just telling Alex, like I never really have a plan when I'm doing stuff like this, when I just kind of bring random things. So I'm just gonna kind of throw it all together and see what comes of it. So it should be pretty good though. The roast, we had a little bit of it last night and there was an extra one. So it was really good. So not too worried about that, but just the sides and everything. That's what we got to figure out. But going with the flow. Sounds like, you know, dinner. These are sick cans. I know, I always pick it just off the thing, but just house fire, dude. The steady death. Wow, my first minimal can. can this looks awesome. Yeah, it's pretty this good. This looks super nice, man. You want me to open it? Sure. Browns. Nice. Spill a little bit. Can you put that up in the tree? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Start okay. Your beard. Okay, so beer for going to the airport? No, just like, what would you list <laughs> as like the best hitting beers? Like, so we okay, were, first of all, ice cold Heineken. No, not the brand dog. Like, just like you're out and about, all right? Like, you're going to a baseball game, just like a baseball beer, just like anything. Like for the, the like a beer for the given scenario. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? So like my favorite time to drink one. Sure. Yeah. Cause we were just like talking about like the best like hitting beers. So like <clears throat> Yeah, let's hear it. What was yours? Okay, we said shower beer, beach beer. Okay, I see. What baseball you're park beers. Yeah. Free beer. And what would be my fifth? Okay. What would be my fifth that we didn't list? Is a beer when you're camping after you set everything up. That is so hard. Like literally. the IPA when you're done, dude. Yeah. I would say that's top. I usually start with a beer right when I get there, though. I'll crack one. Dude, you started when we got to the first spot that was closed. Yeah, where I'll start is like when I hit the trail. On the trail, just cracking a beer while you're airing down is really the start of I'll something. I'll tell you, if new. I'm like, I'm gonna say like if a. <laughs> Once you get to where you're going, if you're not wearing a seatbelt and you're like, your car is basically a dune buggy at that point, lake beer. No, I, I, I agree. But lake. just like we were saying for like the given scenario, lake. best. Oh, lake beer, is that what you said? Lake. No, that's what, that was another one. Boats on the boat. Boat. Yep. Shore, raft, just lakes are usually pretty warm. Anywhere so. with water. Yeah. Yeah. Shower beer's up there. Shower beer hits hard. <laughs> <laughs> a 20 year old beer dude a 20 year old beer yeah, yeah. all right you need to start that fire um yeah it's dark, it's dark. Is your add just oh, all on, over the map right now on 12 bro it's fired up um here's your beer 
You gotta go all the way around. I gotta go to the far side, dog. <laughs> right there. <laughs> the IPA's hitting. Dude, I like this little bungalow you got going on over here. Dude, you set this thing up good. There's a light right inside here, actually. Oh! Alexa. Lights, party mode. <laughs> oh, I was like, for real? Oh, that's cool. Like the first one that you just have. You ever had a beer when like you're hungry and you chug it and you can feel the carbs going to work and you're like, yeah, that's exactly what I needed. Like I'm not hungry. Yeah. Yeah, I pretty much. Especially with, like an IPA, like thank you for that loaf of bread straight to my gut. If it's not a baguette, a loaf of baguette, I don't want it. <sighs> All right, there she is, it's pretty basic. I think we're just gonna do that and then put it in some tortillas and uh, call it good. Alex is uh, finishing up the fire right now. How we looking? Amazing. All right. A little wet. No tent. It means it's probably at like half hour. Oh, yeah. LED it does. All right, dinner is all done. We're gonna pound it and then uh, just chill by the fire. I don't really think we have a plan tonight, do we? No. It's gonna blind you. Dude, we're just, we're just kicking it, man. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna eat this real quick and then probably just have a good rest of the night. <laughs> this song. All right, we're gonna call it a night. Um, we don't really have a plan for tomorrow, so we're just gonna kind of get up whenever we get up and see what the day takes us. Um, it's Yeti's first night in the uh, I Camper tent, so she already made herself at home. So it's pretty easy to get her in. I just kind of climbed up the back in the bed of the truck and then opened this window and tossed her in. But um, yeah, she's just enjoying herself. But um, yeah, like I was saying, we don't have, really have a plan uh, for tomorrow, so we're just gonna kind of take it as it comes and uh, go from there. I guess we'll uh, see you tomorrow. Peace. Morning. Uh, you sleep good, Gertie? Hmm? All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's go. Thank you. Go potty. All right, stop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make some coffee, make a little bit of breakfast, and then see what the day takes us. We slept in. It's about nine o'clock right now, so I don't even know if Alex is moving yet. But um, I'm gonna hop out and then uh, go from there.
Honestly, I kind of want to backpack more, bro. Like, I feel that. even when I get out to Colorado, like, I want to park at trailheads and then go do 14ers, you know? I don't want to just camp. With hunting. Hunting. Hey. Hey, yeah, I put her away. Hey. How far? Hey. Okay. Hey. The car just drove by and told us that there's a black bear and its cub about a mile away. So we're gonna clean up some of the food and then uh, maybe we get to see a cool black bear, but who knows? We decided to pack up camp and uh, head down towards the river. I uh, didn't really get to finish cooking just because when we heard that there was a black bear, we just decided to kind of take all the precautions necessary and start packing up. So um, there was a couple other people that drove down the road and we told them to honk for us if they happened to see it, just to let us know. But um, yeah, it's kind of crazy. The first people that told us said it was only about a mile away from where we were. So. Um, but who knows, you know, it's crazy how they can just disappear into the woods. So, um, but yeah, we're just uh, gonna head down to the river and uh, try and do some fishing and just chill for the rest of the day. Walk down towards that boulder. I got the, I got the, the better job. Going underneath this rock right here. Oh, I see him. I think. He came out from underneath that and went straight in there. to your left too, right in front of that rock. Yeah. What are these? Pattern form called the Pats of Rugby Lake. They're huge. Purge bunk. These ones. Okay. Dude, this might be some of the best purge bug footage ever recorded. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, they're all over the place.
Oh. Jeez. All right. I'm gonna call it close but no cigar. Um, at that first spot I had, I don't think I was recording, but um, there was one on. It was the best one I had. And it uh, unfortunately came off right when I was getting it out of the water. And then I had those three takes at that one spot back there. But uh, gonna get anything to hook up and stay on. So it is what it is though. I think we're gonna head back home to Charlotte. And uh, yeah, need to catch my breath first. That was crazy. Taking a nap. Oh. <laughs> My turn. down we are hitting the road it's a beautiful day today smoking points there other than uh, not catching the fish but it is what it is so uh, we're gonna head back home we've got about three and a half hours to get back and, uh, yeah thank you for watching if you uh, enjoy content like this make sure you like and subscribe and uh, until next time we'll see you out there